<sighs> Did you need something from me, Prince Alchrist? <laughs> I see. You are pretending to ignore me. I still refuse to forgive you. You know why. How else should I behave in the presence of someone who helped to murder my father? <sighs> I apologize for my part in your father's death. You... you do? I know an apology can't heal your wounds, or really achieve much at all, but we are now allies. I think it's important we find what common ground we can and meet each other halfway. Uh... That is why I'm taking this crucial first step. I am truly sorry about your father. Princess Ivy, I... I used to fear your family and your country. I never dreamed we'd end up on the same side. Life is so... unpredictable. It pushes us forward, ready or not. Holding on to past prejudices will only trip us up. From now on, I promise to do my best to find that common ground you mentioned. Thank you. But you should know that staring is rude. Uh, you're right. I apologize for being so careless. I won't let it happen again. At least we're looking in the same direction. Perhaps better times lie ahead. <sighs> Princess Ivy, are you glaring at me? No, Prince Alchrist. At least not intentionally, but I can't take my eyes off of your armor. In Illusia, we are taught from an early age to keep watch for Brody in armor. Oh... I think I understand. Brodia has invaded Illusia more times than I can count. My country has a lot to answer for. For what it's worth, I am sorry. Oh? And what do you mean by that, exactly? Huh? I, uh... What? Did you just issue a formal apology from the Kingdom of Brodia for its invasions of our land? Are you admitting fault on behalf of your people and swearing to adopt peaceful foreign policy? Reconciliation between nations is a serious matter. Not to be taken lightly. Th that's not what I... What I meant to say was, uh... If Brodia is at fault, then we absolutely should apologize. But that apology is not mine to give. The king and nobility would have to convene and agree. So when I said I was sorry, it came from me as an individual, not as a representative of, uh... <laughs> I know that. I'm sorry. You are a little too easy to toy with. Oh, Princess Ivy. I was so nervous. My ill feelings toward Brodia are in the past, but I could not resist teasing you a little. Look on the bright side. We are comfortable enough now to joke with one another, right? Yes, of course. I did think my heart was going to stop, but I suppose it was... funny. Pardon me, Princess Ivy. In our last conversation, you made it clear that you still harbor resentment towards Brodia. Yes, I did. Uh, well, at risk of overstepping my boundaries, I hope you'll allow me to say one thing. The relationship between Brodia and Illusia has never been civil. Certainly not in my lifetime. But, as you've mentioned, we are now allies. We work together. That's true. This alliance was as unpredictable as it is wonderful. I will work hard to ensure that our countries become allies when this conflict is over. I may not be able to do as much as my brother, the Crown Prince, but... Well, I thought I owed you a clear statement of my own intentions, at the very least. <sighs> my first impression of you was that you were weak-willed and uncharismatic. I feel differently now. You do? When it matters, you speak your mind. And what you say is kind and thoughtful. These are qualities I consider princely. Oh, no, please don't think too highly of me. You're much more regal and capable than... Are you suggesting that I, crown princess of my kingdom, am not a good judge of character? N not at all! I would never... ever... Uh, another joke? Very good. You're catching on. <laughs> I take it as a sign that our relationship is improving. Agreed. I hope our friendship continues to grow, in honor of our fathers, and for the future of our kingdoms. Yes. Here's to a better future. <laughs>